Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. I'm Taylor. And we're gonna be checking out what? My little dumpling? My little Ugh. chicken dumpling. <laughs> Bert Kreshner, uh comfortably numb, let's talk about black people. Yes. Yes. We haven't checked out any Bert in a while since mm-hmm. um the machine, the I machine, think. Yeah. It was like the last thing you guys asked us to check out. Mm-hmm. Um and you guys asked us to check out more of him, so we're doing it. Let's mm-hmm. see what this is about. Do we have any Asians in here? I just found this out. Now look, I'm being honest right now, okay? And I know I'm white, and sometimes when white people are honest, it sounds like racism, but... (laughs) (laughs) Wow. (laughs) (laughs) Just kidding. The, uh... I just found this out. Now, this is just for the white people, the Mexicans, and the one black guy, okay? (laughs) So, Asians, don't answer this. This is true. And tell me if you knew this. Be serious. Be honest. Did you know that Japanese people cannot understand Chinese people? At all. <laughs> Did you know that? You, you knew that? I didn't know that. I, I, say, I swear to you, I swear on my children, I thought it was a little bit like Italian and Spanish, you know, like, pantalones, pantaloni. <laughs> <laughs> or like accents, like South Carolina and Georgia, you know, like, how y'all doing? And then squeal like a pig, boy. It's like... <laughs> I swear to you, I'm at, an, I'm at an airport, right? And there's this Korean dude, and this Korean guy is losing his mind in Korean. Now, I don't want to do a stereotypical Asian accent, but I have to. <laughs> to impress to you how serious this moment is, okay? And I don't know Korean, but this, way, this guy's at the front of the security line, and he's going like this. Now, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever see a man of color screaming in his native tongue, you run. <laughs> because that means that something's going on so real, he doesn't have time to translate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, I know a little Spanish, but if I fall into a tank of sharks in Mexico, I'm not going to be all, Donde esta? <laughs> <laughs> I'm screaming my native, help, I don't want to die! <laughs> That's what this Korean guy is doing, right? He's going like, everybody, quick, run, Godzilla, I have the bird flu! I don't, I don't, know, what <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm, I'm out of here. I turn to run, wham, I bump into another Asian dude. <laughs> Which may not seem weird to you guys, but I was in Iowa, okay? <laughs> it's like seeing two midgets in one day that don't know each other. <laughs> this doesn't happen. I'm being serious. So I look at this guy and I go, what's he saying? <laughs> and very politely, like I'm sure you've been in this situation, he goes, oh, gee, I don't know. <laughs> because I'm not Korean! <laughs> I didn't know there were different languages, so I just kept staring at him like... <laughs> I didn't ask what you are. <laughs> What's he saying? <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I'm Japanese! I'm like, calm down, buddy. It's not like you're wearing a rising sun bandana. <laughs> covered in Hello Kitty, then I'd know. <laughs> oh my God. What's he saying? Kind of. Your word for bird or Godzilla. Did you hear the root of that in there at all? <laughs> it was an awkward situation to say the least, but now we know, right? So that mistake will never happen to you guys, and that's how you beat racism. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I think. Oh no. <laughs> What?
Let's talk, I don't, that didn't have anything to do with black people. I had to reread yeah. the title. Let's talk about black people. Yeah, that's nothing to do with black people. Still funny though. Yeah, I love how he said Chinese and Japanese, and he said the guy was Korean. <laughs> right, I know. I thought that too. I'm like, didn't he say Chinese? <laughs> I think it made it funnier though. Yeah, because like he's almost like saying like, yeah, all They're Asians. All the same. <laughs> As a kid, I thought that. Yeah. Like when I saw a Chinese person, Japanese, all that kind of stuff, I thought know. they all knew karate. <laughs> and I thought I thought they all spoke the exact same language. Yeah. I always saw that when I was a kid. And my mom was the one who debunked me. Like told like well not debunked it, but it was one like, Josh, um they don't all know karate. Stop staring at them like that. <laughs> because I always try to work my nerve up oh, to like to ask, ask them to show questions. me something, like yeah. a, uh, something cool. And I could just never, like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, would you stop looking like that? Because I, I get home and talk, like, I, kn- I bet he knew karate. I should have just asked him. I bet he knew karate. <laughs> I want to be like the three ninjas kickback. All yeah. that jazz. Oh, my God. And she's the one who taught me that, that like, all them don't know karate, Josh. They don't all speak the same language, yada, yada, yada. But then she would do this thing where whenever she's around somebody from different, like, race, car, whatever it is, she will pick up on how they talk and stuff. I'm like, Mom, that's super offensive. You got to stop. Like, if the Chinese lady saying, do you want more chicken dumpling soup? Blah, blah, blah. My mom be like, yeah, chip more chicken dumpling soup with soy sauce. Like, she would do that yeah. when she's talking back to him. Like, Mom, she's like, that's how she's talking to me. That's the only way she can understand me. I'm like, Mom, she can understand no, she you. Did yes, oh she did. <laughs> Every, you know, if it was a Mexican lady, whoever it was, my mom would, like, adjust because she thought, that's the way, she thought she was being courteous because that's the way they talk. Oh. She should respond the same way. I'm like, yeah. no, Mom. It's offensive. I don't yeah. understand why. Why is it offensive? Because they talking to me that way, but it's not offensive. I'm talking back. But it's offensive. I'm talking back to them that way. Yeah. I'm like, mom, because they can't help it. It's their accent because it's not their, you know. Yeah. It's not their first language. Like, you don't have an excuse. <laughs> and she's That's like, funny. I'm just trying. I'm and, just trying. <laughs> and this is even funnier. Jeffrey' mom, if she ever watched it, she gonna kill me. She would say ching chongs. Oh, like when she yeah. when it come to like um, she would she, not no, she wouldn't say call them ching chong. She'd be like this ching chong and all like that. She'd be like, they just opened a new ching chong restaurant. I forgot what it's called. Like what's it called? And just be like, Mama, I told you to stop saying that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no. She said, I don't. Know. She was like, what you doing? She's like, because it's not all. It's different ones. Like she's like, there's Japanese and, and Chinese and blah blah blah. So it's easy just to say ching chong. <laughs> Like mom, that's racist as shit. Oh my god. She don't say it anymore. But yeah, that's yeah. same thing. Like old people, man. That's why you can't take that kind of stuff so seriously when somebody old says something offensive. It's like people say, Well, all the information out there they should learn. My mom is the sweetest person on the planet and she yeah. just didn't know. Yeah. And the people who she was d- talking to like that were just too nice to tell her. Right. Or they're always afraid of how upset somebody will get. You know what yeah. I mean? Well so, and of course like if you're like ordering food or something like that they're not gonna like turn business away you know yeah. like especially back in the day i think maybe someone might now yeah now that like people speak out about stuff more like that now but like back then yeah they probably wouldn't and i don't think she meant it to be mean she just didn't know i know she didn't yeah but so, like you know what your mean? mom's like, not like a mean person so it's um but yeah times have changed but they changed in like a rough way though mm-hmm. like now people are more vocal but they're vocal in a real negative way like, if you get something wrong about, like, whether race, culture, or whatever it is, mm-hmm. people go crazy on you. And then yeah. you're like, well, I'm sorry. How am I supposed to learn? And they'll call you ignorant, and then you can never come back from it. Yeah, and it's like, like, you're just always a bad person. You're just always a bad person. Like, I just want to learn. I'm trying to learn. Kind of, yeah. like, thing. So, that's why I never take this stuff with a grain of salt. Like, I always take this stuff with a uh, grain of salt. Like, when an old lady was, like, um, she her description of me was a tall, colored boy. That was her description of me. She was, like, 70, 80 years old. It worked. And yeah, but oh. she was giving a compliment, like to um, I don't know why she was telling the cashier, but she was telling the, like <laughs> a a cashier that um the tall color boy was really nice and helpful, and whenever she come back to the store, she's gonna make sure she comes to see me. But people like color, I'm yeah. like some people just don't know what the right term is because some yeah. people get offended if you say African American because they're not from Africa. Some people don't want you to say black because black sounds too aggressive. So it's like it's it's a. Sometimes you gotta let go. Yeah. Well, and also, like, you can't please everybody. Like, how would you know if someone finds African-American offensive? Yeah. You know, so. But the whole point of this entire story is because he didn't say nothing about black people. So that's the whole point of what we're talking about. Okay. (laughs) Because let's talk about black people. He didn't say nothing. And I was ready to laugh about that. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
burp. You'll be all right. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Continue to like, share, subscribe, comment below, guys, and let us know what you want us to react to next. Yes. And I'm tired. You tired, sweetie? Mm -hmm. We're we going to hit the days. hay. Long <laughs> days. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. That's all for this. We'll see you in the next one. Later. Bye.